Software update with the Palo Alto Firewall. If this is what you need, so this is the right video for you. Hi, my name is Ricardo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a software update with the Palo Alto Firewall. So let's head to the computer. So guys, after you, you log in to your device, you should see the dashboard. In order to update the firewall, you should go to, we should go to device. And then there is one thing that we need to check before we go to the software update by itself, uh, per se. We should go to setup and then under services, we need to be sure that the DNS servers, servers are um, configured and also it would be good to have an NTP server. But the DNS servers, you really need them. And the update servers, if you haven't changed, it should be the updates paloaltonetworks.com, which is the one that comes with the, when the firewall installs, it installs this one automatically. So if this stuff is set up, Ah, by the way, if you need a proxy server, you also need to configure this. In order to configure, you can go to this uh, gear wheel, is that how you call Just click on that. And then uh, here on the bottom, is the conf you can enter the configuration for your proxy server if you have one, if you need one. The DNS server, as I said, is here. Okay, I'll just cancel. And now let's go to the update. Um, if you scroll down under device, still under device, if you scroll, scroll down, you're gonna see software, click on that. If you see a page like this, it's fine. If you don't see a page like this, well, in any case, you need to go to check now. Um, sometimes it comes a window saying that you need to, to there, there is no information here. So it's just, you just need to close this window and then come to check now. It takes a little bit. So the firewall checks with the, with the cloud. If there is some, any uh, new, um, software available. In my case, I already have the 10.0.2.2, but there is a 10.0.2.2 H1 and H2 for me available, both of them. So I'll just go under download and I just click here. This is the newest one. I want to install the newest one. In your case, I suggest you to read the release notes from each of the software that you want to install. Um, just to see, okay, is there something that I need to, to pay attention? Um, I would not recommend you, if you're on production, to go to the latest version, the, the newest one, unless you really need to. Otherwise, I would recommend you to stay, um, yeah, maybe one or two versions before, or maybe not even in my case, for example, I have 10.2.2. If I'm on production, I would not go to 10.2 now. I actually, I would stay in 10.1, maybe 10.1.6, H3. Um, but I would, I would still not go to the, to the newest trend, train. But since I'm in, in a test and just showing you how to do, I just go to the H2, just click on download. And then the file is just gonna download the, the software. I'm just gonna forward this. Okay, now we're done. Just close. And now you're gonna see here that instead of showing download, now it shows all three uh, options validate export or install you can go to validate if you want to be sure that it's um, that, they, that the configuration still matches this software release I would recommend for everybody to do this um, I don't really have anything configured I think I only have one or two rules here so I'll just go to install but you should go to validate just to be sure so install this also takes a while and then the fire does it by itself I'll just be back when it's done so guys, after the, the, the software has been installed, it comes the, the window saying that asking if you want to reboot now or later. I'm just going to reboot now. Unless you reboot it, uh, the software won't be installed. Just think it's obvious for everybody. So I'll just go ahead and reboot it and I'll be back soon. So guys, my file is reachable again. I just logged in with my username and password and just Click here to remind me later about the telemetry and on the dashboard you can see where is it here software version you can see that the new software has been um, installed and it looks well looks good so guys that's it if you like the video you got some value from it just give me a thumbs up or a like uh, subscribe to the channel it's gonna help more people to get um, to get to see the video like this and thank you for watching and see you next time bye